how small I am, folks. I know. Well, what, after I can take off these heels. Yeah, no, she put her heels on. I, I had the heels on because we were talking about something else. I know. Else. I don't like so. those heels because they don't make her leg look as good. Well, these are the ones that I grabbed. Actually, we can show them a difference in what heels do. Yeah, I'm going to find that next time because, I mean, absolutely, the, her her heels, I mean, I, okay. Um, we, we a heel is a heel is a heel. We just oh. came back from... Um, we just came back from Magic a week or so ago, which is the uh, you know business of fashion. But uh, I, I'm always amazed me because I grew up in the entertainment business. People would basically spend back in those days like a thousand dollars on money. They spent a full, god awful fortune for a gallon, and then one of the most god awful ugly shoes you see on the face of this planet. I mean, I I look at these TV shows at night. You got these women that are commentators on. And they're wearing shoes that they must have picked up at a five and dime set store. They're so ugly. Mm -hmm. And they sit there and you know makes their legs look bad. Make everything looks bad. So you know, like that. I did hear one guy last night saying I want to show you know you, you know I've seen hookers wear better shoes than that. So she said I paid fifteen hundred dollars for these. And they said I've seen hookers wear better shoes to charge less than that. So mm -hmm. but um, we're gonna right now we're gonna be talking about uh, factions. And then you're probably first asking, what in the world is a faction? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, a, it's our combination. It's basically, we actually uh, coined it. It's a come fact or fiction. Mm -hmm. Faction. Because um, the first faction we're going to be doing is on um, the automotive aftermarket. We're going to be talking to people about things, for instance, that, okay, here's the deal. Automotive aftermarket parts are basically illegal in California. No. No, they're not. Uh, the uh, SEMA, which is the automotive aftermarket organization, is headquartered in Diamond Bar. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, hot mufflers are illegal in California. They are? No. Oh. I mean, the cherry bombs are sold everywhere out here, right? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's fact or fiction. Um, um, uh, aftermarket parts void your car warranty. No. Because uh, a, a, a lot of aftermarket parts are put on at the dealership. Yeah. Uh, but, but, um, I mean, you know, we'll go if we actually get to go to SEMA this year, which who knows whether or not we go or not, because they change the rules. But um, you'll see one major company after another. I mean, you'll see General Motors, you'll see Toyota, all these people talking about the aftermarket parts that they they put on themselves at all of their businesses. They make a lot of money putting aftermarket parts on the car. Ford. I mean, God, Ford is really big about aftermarket parts. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember when we were sitting there talking to some of them. They said, "Yeah," and they said, "If you have a lease car, we have we make our parts so you can um, put our parts on, and then you can take them back off when you return the vehicle." Yeah, which is a neat sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But um, no, it, it, only, it only void the warranty if you really do a screw up job on the car. And most people, okay. Um, um, you know, uh, okay. Uh, basically, door. Uh, they basically the you know they put the knobs on the gear shift. That's an aftermarket part. You put in. Okay, if they void the warranty, you couldn't go to um, to Best Buy and have a radio put in your car. Oh, that's true. Yeah, huh? because you think about all the things that are aftermarket. Um, uh, all the stuff for Apple, all the stuff for your iPods that go in your car are aftermarket parts. Mm -hmm. Because most of the cars do not come equipped that way. Um, well, we can tell you we were at um, uh, we were at uh, what's it what's the company Bob Bob and Olson or something Oop, Bang and Olson Bang and Bang or whatever they are they're a Danish manufacturer yeah basically they have an aftermarket where more or less an aftermarket stereo system in an uh, an uh, with a BMW BMW although you can order the the vehicle with it yeah but it is still for all practical purposes most of the people will simply have a system put in afterwards. Of course, you could just buy a new car with it if they already installed. Yeah, it is they, a thirty-seven hundred dollar upcharge. Yeah, because the fact that a lot of people have uh, BMW, you know, they like. I mean, but when you have an upwardly mobile person, he has that car that he loves. And he's never going to get rid of that car, but he'll he'll put the radio system in it. I mean, oh, you mean like my cell phone? I guess. Like. Yeah. So, you know, you know, yuppies. They used to call them. Now they just call them little people. <laughs> yeah. What? You know, but you know they sit there and they have these cars that they're they in love with them. But uh, okay, yeah, a lot of people right now. One of the things they're doing actually um, uh, at uh, CES. Um, uh, what is that company that basically they sell get they sell Pioneer and RCA and 
and um, you know over there at the company that, you know, that basically those are all aftermarket parts you know and so um, you know okay do um, oversized tires void the warranty on your automobile no if they fit they fit it's just like the OJ Simpson if it fits you must acquit. If, it, if it fits you must convict if it doesn't fit you must acquit you know if the tires fit they fit Mm -hmm. um, you know, all these wheels that they put on the cars, do they, do they okay, you put a million dollar set of diamond wheels on your automobile, does that void your warranty? No. No, it's just a set of wheels. Uh, uh, the, some of those wheels, they were, they were so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, sets of wheels were so gorgeous that they threw in the Rolls Royce with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. you can imagine how expensive the wheels were. That was the funny thing we did. We got lots of pictures of her with that one. But, um, um, Okay, what's another thing? Uh, okay, um, uh, okay, I love this one. Does changing the color of your automobile at the dealership void the warranty on your car? I've never heard that one before. Yeah, it's on the list because people, the, mm -hmm. you know, they'll have the car, uh, they don't like the color they're getting. They can't get the color they want, so they have the car painted the color they want at the dealership. Uh, okay. Uh, well, it probably wouldn't mess up the warranty if the warranty had to do with your paint. No, people. That's a question. Does going? Okay, you've had an, um, you've had a, 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 a fender bender. Uh, does putting, um, does putting uh, an aftermarket fender on your car void the warranty on your car? Not if there's not if there's no damage to the structure. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know. The, the, okay, does replacing a broken glass on your car, a windshield void the warranty on your car? No. Does tinting your windows void the warranty on your car? Shouldn't. No. I mean, that, that's fiction, fact or fiction. There's an awful lot of fiction out there. Most people think that uh, that virtually everything you do voids your car warranty. Really? They think that virtually anything. They also think that you can't do any. Yeah, they absolutely think that you cannot put anything on a car in the state of California that doesn't result in the voiding, voiding of your warranty. Which it doesn't. If you go to, um, okay, um, most people have to have new brakes put on, mm -hmm. you know, no matter what. That was a, I, another common one. Does putting new brakes on your car void the warranty on How your car? How can it avoid your warranty? You have to get brakes periodically um, anyway because they wear out. I know, but it's an aftermarket product. There's a, uh, you know, uh, changing the U joints on your car, void the warranty on your car. You know, we're talking, most of this stuff is common sense, but you actually have people that are concerned, well, I didn't, I, I didn't change my U joints because I knew it would void the warranty on my car, and if I voided the warranty on my car, it wouldn't cover the problems. You know, the tire wheels fall off in the middle of the street, you voided the warranty on your car. They'll say you should have fixed the U. Why didn't you bring the U joint in? Well, well we you know, part of it is to keep the warranty intact. There is a reasonable assumption that you're supposed to maintain it under mm -hmm. their uh, recommendations. Yeah. If you pop in a new transmission on your car, does it void the warranty on your car? Um, not if it's done at a recognized uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of people. Okay, a lot of warranties today go for a hundred thousand miles. The parts don't make it that long, folks. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are putting new parts in, and then um, you know, kids. If they if they did this, kids would void the warranty of their car and if they took it out of the dealership. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, just putting new seat covers in your car. That's what do. Just putting new seat covers in your car void the warranty on your interior. No. No, most things don't do it. You know, replacing the doorknobs doesn't do it. I mean, you know, putting just just. Putting a, a cell phone antenna on your car void the warranty of the car? Yeah, that one probably does. Mm -hmm. Because you destroyed the you destroyed the car. You know, basically you drill a hole in it for some net. When you drill the hole you damage the structural. If you do something to do to change the structural uh, it's just like a house. If you can do anything you want to a house, you can repaint the house, you can do this, you do that, but if you open up a wall, uh, and you mess with one of the two before in the wall, you basically change the structure and the structure of the house.
-hmm. And if you basically, you know, you, you, if you put something, drill a hole in your car, you basically violate the Morty on your car. Figure it that way. Mm -hmm. Don't drill holes in your car. Because they'll say, oh, yeah, that's that no, that no good, folks, because you just destroyed how, even though you drill a hole in your car, you basically just killed the worth of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, I think one of the guys, one of the things I said, we saw was, okay, uh, a good test of whether it voids the warranty on your car is whether or not it lessens the resale value of the vehicle. If what you have done lessens the resale value and it is not a structural change to the automobile, and, it, and, and, it's a, and it's not a structural change, it basically voids the warranty. Well, here's the other part, is when you return your car to the manufacturer, it's supposed to be as you picked it up, right? Yeah. But if you increase the value of the car by adding something on and it doesn't work for your next car, can you yeah. leave it on there? Uh, if it doesn't change the structural integrity of the automobile, it has to do with structural integrity from what I understand. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like if you make a low rider out of your automobile and basically the car goes up on hydraulics, you have changed the structural and integrity of the vehicle. It has all to do... But for example, if you got custom wheels, no. and your next vehicle is going to be not be the same, Yeah. right? Well, okay. Or you don't. You want different wheels. What you do is you, um, you do like we used to do. We would take the wheels off of the car, put them in storage and strap and put four new wheels on. And then if we change the car, we put the old wheels back on. It took the new ones off, you know, and put them elsewhere because god awful wheels are very expensive. They're very expensive. Same thing as um, I mean, I used to. Um, I hated a lot of the seats in the cars I bought, so I would I'd take the seats of the automobiles out, put my own bucket seats in, were a lot more comfortable, and then take the other seat out and set it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so and that basically, and then you take the seat, put it back in when you trade it back in. So. You know, because that's not changing the structural integrity if you're putting back in what was there before. I mean, I, um, I basically I could change, I could turn a car around in half an hour. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I've done paint jobs. You know, the, the example was um, we were taking a car in to trade um, the, on, a, on another vehicle. My father had a flat tire, and instead of pulling over and fixing it, he drove it back to the house. And it, basically, he didn't realize that the tire that was on it, somebody sold us a retread. Oh, no. So we're just going, thunk, 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 thunk. It we makes got, a difference. We got back to the house and said, Jesus, you know, the whole side had been caved in. So they said, we got to get this car back. we got to get this car over. So I sat there and pounded the thing out real quick, sanded it down real quick, put another coat of paint on. That you know that we because I we you know the mash that stuff there right it with the with the heaters and we took it in. You know, it took me 30 minutes to get all the work done, mm -hmm. and nobody nobody knew there'd been damage done to it because I rebuilt it just like it was brand new. But it took you know it goes that, that happens when you have lots of equipment. Okay, they had all the my father had a degree in automotive. Uh, my father was an automotive engineer besides being a a radio engineer on him. So we had all this stuff. We had dinging hammer. We go, bip, 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 bip. Mm -hmm. put, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Sand it, put body fender stuff in it, sand it off real good, put the finish coat on. You know, we, we put the primer on, dried it with the, with our, you know, our heat. You know, actually, we used hair dryers, so, shh, you know. And then we put the neck coat, shh, and put the clear coat on, shh, and then took it in. So, done real quick, so. But it can be done, no. See, that would violate the warranty if it was a brand new car. That definitely is structural. That would do it. If you demi, if you, there's the big thing. Remember with the faction, you know, truth, you know, fact or fiction. If you violate the structural integrity of an automobile, it violates the warranty of the car. Well, every time. So this is what we're going to be talking. We're going to be talking about consumer electronics, fact or fiction. We're going to be talking about fashion, fact or fiction. We're going to be doing a lot of things on fact or fiction, but that's only going. You only got. This is the only time you're going to see things on fact or fiction because we have our own channel. We have uh, Monty Bubbles TV. Monty Bubbles Network. Monty Bubbles Network, which is basically you're going to be seeing fact or you know, factions on. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we'll let you know when the first one comes out. So you know, we're a little bit behind. We're two weeks behind at the moment because somebody got old. You know, guess who? No, uh, part of it is we, we were out of the trade show. I know we're in a trade they show. Know. <laughs> but we got started, and I'm, 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 I needed to do some more stuff because we have to program seven 
We're programming one hour a day for seven weeks. Our one is program a day for seven days. And I, because I got behind, you know, and you're going to be seeing more of the stuff, you know, we're getting heavy on hers and very light on my side, which is, you know, uh, Noir 3D. Yes, which is when it comes in. Aha! Mm, and so with that. With that ends our explanation of factions. I knew that was all fun in here. It was not me. She left both of her cell phones there, at least in the tablet. Room, like, 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 so wherever, anyway, if you'd like more information, please go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And we also have a budding a newswire at the moment, which doesn't have enough material sometimes. Holidays is a dead time. Well, well that's part like. of it. Is after the holidays are over, then, you know, you just start focus on. So we've got newswire coming out. Monty uh, Bubbles, uh, Monty Bubbles Network, the mm -hmm. Bikinis are TV. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, lots and lots of things are going to be happening in the next few weeks. Lots of more people. You already started to see more people in front of the camera and stuff. You're saying, well, was it uh, was our, our little chandelier girl, our crystal ball girl? Chandelier girl. Who? I'm going to tell you guys. She has, has an unbelievable singing voice. She has an unbelievable singing voice. All I got to do is to get her to sing on camera. Oh, you should have heard the comments I got. Um, sexy dancing ball. Yeah. I heard that. If all camera people look like that. I know. So, uh, she, she's hot, she's sexy, and she can sing. I know. So I won't get her on our Christmas special we're going to do. We'll be working on that one, too. Yeah. So you're going to get to hear, you know, well, no, well, no, well. Or how about, sound oh. You know, all of those great things, and maybe a little bit of Ave Maria. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that too. Somebody can actually sing. Not me, but somebody can. 